Hey everyone, it's the Blast Kids here, and today we'll be doing the shortened version review on the Modulus Regulator. Included in the package is the blaster itself, two clips, stock, um, a barrel, which is also a scope, a barrel that's just a barrel, and a carry handle. A carry, well, yeah, it's a carry handle too. This is a barrel that can also be a scope. And 24 darts, but what makes this video short is that we don't have the darts here with us. Like, we have them in the house, but we don't have them here with us. So we won't be doing a firing test. That makes it short. If you would like to see the blaster fire, go check out the full version review. Just called the review. This is going to be called the short version. So starting with the review of the main blaster, like, bare bones. So to fire this blaster, you need to put in batteries. So... We, we mentioned that in the other review we had. Um, so starting up at the front, you can put barrels on. Like You'll see the barrels later. We're going to be reviewing the attachments, but for now, we're going to be doing the bare, blown, bare bones blaster. Barrel, you can put on barrel extensions here. Um, up high, there's an iron sight right there. You can look down, sort of. And there's no back iron sight, so it's kind of weird. Um, there's a rail underneath here to put on any grips. If you like grips, not my thing, but... If you like them, you can put them on there. That's good about modulus. You can, if you don't like grips, just don't put them on. If you like them, you can put them on. So that's what's good about the modulus series. Moving further back is the clip well. You just insert a clip like any other clip system blaster. Um, it includes two 12 dot clips, as you saw earlier in this video. Um, up above the clip well is the jam door, which is right here. You just click this little button. And then pull it back like that, unclog any jams. If you let go of the jam door, it does kind of come down, so that is a little bit annoying. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to deal with that. So, and like to fire this blaster, you have to close the thing shut. It is a little bit hard to do, actually. Maybe it's just our regulator that's a little bit, like, stiffer, because it's still pretty new. But, um, let me know in the comments below if yours is like that, too. Moving further back, there's a tactical rail right here. It's mainly to put on... This the optic that it comes with. That, um, yeah, it's not really an optic, but it's a barrel that looks like an optic. No, it's an optic that looks like a barrel. Um, so yeah, to kind of strip it off so you can see the barrel on blaster again. Um, so we've covered everything that's at the front, but moving back now is the interesting stuff. Um, this is a selector switch, which. This is very handy. You can switch from semi-automatic, three-round burst, and fully automatic. Fully automatic is like a hyper fire. Three-round burst is like new. Nerf doesn't have any blasters that are three-round burst. And semi-automatic is like a modulus and demolisher and strife and everything. That's like that class. Fully automatic is just like fully automatic blasters. It, like it's, it feels like you're firing a hyper fire when you're holding this. Um, so yeah, and that's on both sides. Um, so, the grip itself is very comfortable, very, very comfortable. Um, it's a little bit on the small side, but I'm not complaining at all. I know Coop complains and, eh, he whines about little things. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, the, the clip, like, release spot is in kind of a weird location. It's in the, the trigger guard, which some people like, some people don't like. I'm not a huge fan of it, like, I would have been, I think I would have liked it better if they did it, like, right here, like, the modulus, right in here, by the, uh, the rev switch, but it's, it feels pretty good in there, it doesn't cramp up too much, um, so, yeah, uh, Coop does not like that, and he doesn't like the handle, and he thinks it's cramped, Ooh, one more little things, okay, so, that's basically it for the main blaster, other than one more thing, well, obviously you can put on stocks, but one more other thing that's new to Nerf. That little thing, that little light. It's not a light, it's not on right now, but when you click the ref trigger and pull the trigger and there's no darts, the light lights up in red and tells you you're out of ammo. If I had ammo in here, then it wouldn't do that, but it's it's a flashing red light. It might appear orange on camera. Um, that's what I did in Coop's review. Um, and that tells you when you're out of ammo, which is useful, and it shuts off after about 10 or 15 seconds. So that's it for the review of the main blaster, now moving on to other attachments. 
And the clips that come with it are two standard 12 volt clips, just like the Retaliator ones, except that they're, they're not clear on one side, they're just full orange. Um, they're pretty good clips though, they're standard, they feel nice, springs are nice and loose. Like, what I mean loose is it's easy to push down this. If it's hard to do that, well I mean it's good for like high rate of fire blasters like this, but um, it also damages your darts when like like for other clips that are not as like loose of a spring um, because it presses up onto this thing too much and it ruins your darts. Um, that's what they used to do the older clips. So that's it for the review of these things. Now for some attachments. The stock itself is very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. It's it's a little bit longer than the, the regular Nerf socks, but like like what I mean by regular Nerf socks is I mean the retaliator socks. Um well, like those are like the short ones and recon, but um this is about the same length as the ECS ten stock, modulus ECS ten, which is basically the, the other modulus blaster that competes with this in sales. Um yeah, so this is about the same length as the Molisher and ECS ten stock. Um but they have improved, like, in the ECSN stock, the horrible, the stock was horrible. It was so wobbly and everything. It did hold a clip. This one also does hold a clip, like so. It feels very, very nice. They really improved the stock. We're going to have a stock showdown later, like, where we show a bunch of stocks and show our opinions on them. And that can hold that, and that can also hold the barrel carry handle, which they will review right after this. So, overall, I give the stock high marks, although it is a bit uncomfortable to use the stock when you have this carry handle barrel inserted into it. Into it. So, yep, moving on to the review of these other attachments. So, now, onto this barrel. This is the carry handle barrel. This is the shortest barrel, and a type of barrel that, that you can, like, put more on. So, like, what I mean by, like, put more on is that... You can like just put like unlimited barrels, like keep putting on, like just like stick more on like that. And then this one also has that feature that you can stick more and on. And that one. And then like the the feature that like the other barrels don't have and this one does is it has a carry handle and then like you can go Rambo mode by like holding a boss like this and and also another good feature this barrel has is that it's very short, so it won't decrease accuracy and range very much at all. So on this barrel now, this is the one that um, it's, called it's called the long barrel. It's the long, like it's the longest barrel. It, it doesn't come attached with a rail on top, which is a like a con. Um, because this one does have a tack with yeah, a rail. Yeah, that one has a rail too. Um, this one, like I already said, you can put more and more barrels on. Right? But I mean by more and more is that. You can put like one more on if you can put more if the other one has like has one of those. And then it has this like super specialty feature that you can attach a blaster to the bottom. Like this is not a tactical rail at the bottom here. This is the opposite well kind of the opposite of a tactical rail. It goes on to the tactical rail. That's how it's a scope. And like it can go on to the tactical rail on the top. And you can also like, like, strap you can also strap blasters under that. Yeah. Like the blaster or other review. The blasters that have the tactical rails on, just as this blaster has a tactical rail on. You can like put it. So now onto this barrel. Um this barrel has a tactical rail on top. It takes more barrels if you want. Um not too long. And it has that same feature on the yeah, bottom. Same feature on the bottom. You can put blasters in it. It's a scope. So nice color feature, more modulus-ish, I would say, than the other one. And it's pretty much almost identical other than the rail. And it's a bit shorter than the other one. That's another little difference. It's only about one, like, muzzle length. Okay, so over our overall opinion on this blaster is it's very... Yeah, it's very good because it, it's our favorite Nerf blaster. Like, for both of us, favorite Nerf blaster. Because it, it's very because modular. Because of the selector switch. Okay. So, um, another reason why we like this blaster is because of all the great attachments... And like the smoothness, and like we like flywheel a lot. We like spring. Go watch our spring versus flywheel video, and we will make. We have an, a longer overall opinion in our other video, and that's it. Also, in the other video, we have the firing test, which is quite interesting. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below.
Thanks for watching this video, and as always, stay classy cool! <laughs>